Okay. So I've got this uh, chat message that I want to show because there are people who argue with me that my father did not handicap my brother because my aunt is saying that my father was such a good man. This is a conversation I had with another aunt of mine who confirmed that, yes, my father beat my mother the day my brother was born. That's the exact question I asked her. This is an aunt who is younger than Kathy, who lived in Florida, closer to us in Jacksonville, and was much, much more involved with my grandmother because her mother called my grandmother on a weekly basis literally her entire life. So the question I asked was, did he beat my mom the day Ronnie Jr. was born? Something else Mima always said that Bubba was the way he was because my dad tried to kill him in utero thinking he was a girl. I know he was cruel. He beat her my entire childhood. So I don't know why that part seems untrue. I guess part of me is always used to pretend he wasn't that bad, but because no one wants to believe their parents are evil, but I think he was. And her response was, he did. And I'm sorry to tell you that. Okay. So no matter how many times Kathy tells you my father was this wonderful man, she's doing right by him. She's standing up for him. She's, she's taking care of business here for him, for his honor, for, because he was her hero, her, her big guy that she wants to make sure everybody loves. There is at least one other human being in this world that at one point acknowledged the fact that my father was the kind of monster who would put his hands on a pregnant woman. You want to deny that's what caused my brother's disability? Fine. But you cannot deny that a man who will put his hands on a pregnant woman is a monster. My father was the type of man who put his hand on a pregnant woman in anger and violence. And everybody in my family knew it. So everybody in my family who is now defending him is in, in my eyes, you are just as big of a monster as my father was. I hope you're proud of that. I, I really do. You have made yourself a bigger monster than the actual man who committed the heinous acts. Congratulations, you fucking terrible pieces of trash human beings who think my father was a good man. Some of y'all might have read above where I was reading and saw a conversation about my father going to prison for touching a 13-year-old girl. And yeah that happened too. Kathy wants to keep defending this man and talking about how she loves him and she's going to take care of things. What was she doing when my father was sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl who had come to his house to buy narcotics? Because my dad was the drug dealer, the neighborhood drug dealer, and this girl had come over to buy drugs and he assaulted her. I was about 14 when my father began assaulting me. Keep telling yourself he's not a monster. I can't live that delusion.